The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with insane specs and we may even be getting an ultra model but I'll be sharing the details so week upon week we're receiving tons of information about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and this week is no different today record details of the camera specs the color variants and more we also have news that we could be getting better specs made ever hopeful as well as a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra before we get into it though please like the video if you're fine of the Galaxy Note series let me know in the comments if you looking forward to the Galaxy Note 20 the Galaxy Note 20 Plus or even the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra so first news of the day is really camera specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 really come from a nice universe she was a very credible source and he gives full details of the senses he advises the Galaxy Note 20 Plus it can be using at the 108 megapixel and when the primary sensor this is a wonderful 1.33 and sensor that was of course seen in this year's Ultra we also get a 13 megapixel 3M5 periscope lens this is a 1 over 3.4 inch sensor and finally the 12 megapixel ISIS out to about 3 and this is a 1 over 2.55 inch sensor the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is not can have a time of flight depth sensor but instead it can have an additional laser focus this is because the S20 Ultra had some focusing issues through the laser focus assist on the Note 20 Plus is actually to help with the one primary sensor we also have the removal of 100 times zoom on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus there will instead be capped at 50 or people may be disappointed the additional 50 it was only digital zoom you could essentially zoom this imposed if you really do need it next up the good news of the color variants of the Galaxy Note 20 information comes courtesy of Galaxy Club and Sound Mobile state that the standard Galaxy Note 20 is can come in gray copper and green the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is reportedly coming in black copper and gold wood they may seem like strange choices considering the popularity of the processes or colors I would advise holding judgment until we actually see them in person this is also the first report we've had of this so it could be incorrect we'll have to wait and see but for god news the snapdragon 865 plus may actually exist be present inside the galaxy note 20 as i keep insisting to the galaxy note 20 which showed the motherboard is kana which is of course the snapdragon 865 the difference however is that the result shows the cpu at a maximum speed of 3.09 gigahertz the standard Standard 865 actually maxes out at 2.8 fold so this of course could be very good news for those of you in the Snapdragon regions those outside it may also be helpful as the Exodus 92 may also be used in the Note 20 which is a 5 nanometers system on chip with some incredible performance results the 5 nanometers chip that is starting mass production in August but apparently the decision has not been made yet if this will will not be included in the Note 20 but finally report news of the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy Note 20 Ultra the news comes from Bluetooth certification that lists the SM986U which is of course the Note 20 is a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra now while many may be pleased with this it might not quite be what you think there are still likely only to be two models of the Note 20 of course a small one and a larger one this could either be a mistake or it could simply mean that we get a Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra the phone to be the same it just named differently we could actually be in a place where we get the Note 20 Plus and the Note 20 Ultra but until we receive confirmation we just don't know what I can name them worryingly though using names like outright set of class with the Samsung could again. be aim this phone the higher market and giving it a much higher price tag of course we've already had catholics for the note 20 and the note 20 plus or even the note 20 ultra venues create stunning 3d renders sweeney go through all of them and we'll get right into it the samsung galaxy note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch amarillo display with the poncho sophie camera top center will many were hoping for the display selfie camera it's not can happen and it's most likely going to be for the s range the dimensions come in at 100 and 61.8 by 75.3 by 8.5 millimeters which makes the Note 21 millimeters thicker than its predecessor significantly larger overall one thing that you may have already noticed is a flat display on the Note 20 I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you were my most complained about features in the comment is of course the curved display you can see the on the Note 20 report the volume and the home button on the right hand side leaving the left side completely clear we take a look. Underneath record USB type, 
Seaport microphone a speaker grow in the S Pen at the far left the same trays now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20 on the re-record rectangular camera module similar to the S Range's 38.1mm long by 21.9mm wide Samsung reportedly still working on these cameras so we don't have any confirmation on what they can it be it's expected it will contain either the M1 or the GM1 from Samsung we can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash you can see the back panel is curved on both edges with a slight comes in all corners and overall looks like a comfortable device to hold still a very premium smartphone next to that we got my favorite which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus these renders were provided by Pictalan on leaks we have most of the details this still some unconfirmed information the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus is coming with the largest 6.9 inch curved Amarillo display recorder poncho camera top center we had plenty of display from Ross Young 3 has since deleted the tweets as we can only issue is an issue always been asked to remove them we're expecting an LTP of display but again with the poncho Sophie camera as in display cameras just ready yet the Note 20 plus dimensions come in at 165 by 77.2 by 7.6 millimeters with the trim down bezels it is pretty much screen with the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth the bottom now is the same as the Note 20 with the S pen at the far left followed by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear we got another rectangular camera housing can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say I much prefer this one looks a little bulky with bigger lenses actually really like these camera rings and I think it adds to the premium look the device we go to cameras on the left which reportedly could be the Samsung M1 and the GN1 with the periscope lens underneath over on the right hand side see a true depth camera underneath the LED flash again the edges account on the back and overall it looks like it can be a great device we still haven't had any details on the pricing and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year this can be interesting to see why they price it the note line is always the most premium of the range well apart from the newly added follow the s range with price relatively high that sold less than expected it so this could affect the pricing on the note one thing we do know though is that with the note we'll get improved display back tree cam camera and general hardware and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released now in a run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 plus of my regular viewers that you guys have already seen it so I suggest you switch off now if you knew had the nerve to get to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it of course is something Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone actually one of my favorite releases this year will likely see improved design display cameras and more for anyone who's missed my previous videos will quickly run through what we can expect from my regular viewers you would have already seen this so just switch off now before anyone knew him going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 24 the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past things have been changing lately to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20 last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 and 6.8 inch displays we then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming under the estimate that we could see a galaxy note 20 with at least a 7 inch display of course more often sizes are generally getting larger so public sizes are going to rise to given the success of last year's notes and also can predict we'll be getting a galaxy note 21 with a galaxy note 20 plus we haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays run to predict a 6.5 inch display on the galaxy note 27 inch display on the galaxy note 20 plus expect both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120 has dynamic Amarillo display windowed out in the sea and in display fingerprints along with Gorilla Classics for protection when it comes to the Sophie camera the Note line actually let the innovation for Samsung last year it can be interesting to see whether they stick with the poncho camera top center of the Galaxy Note 20 comes with the new design will together many are curious with the in-display cameras and can be available for 
consumers one Samsung have this technology ready my guess would be introducing it on the Note line unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech this likely can be something we see in 2021 when it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be code got no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung have stuck with this across the mid-range and at flagship this year so the Note 20 should be no different Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with the cameras so you can predict we'll get a 108 megapixel ISOCELL sensor with pixel bending technology will get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities get an ultra wide angle for this is why Charles will also get a 3D time of flight that sensor will soon no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus compared to the standard Note 20 in the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 it can be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Axonal Sign IT globally we see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and will of course be expandable with the microSD card given the larger size the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh the Galaxy Note 20 is can be around 4300 of course both Galaxy Note 20 is to be running in 2010 in the form of one UI to it will be IP68 water resistant Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3 and 1 half no headphone jack and and most importantly for Note finds it will be coming with the much left S Pen and using Bluetooth 5 we have any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt can be more fine with new hardware and software features the Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 launch at the start of August 2020 release towards the end of the month when it comes to Pricing it will of course be an expensive device prices are expected start at about $1100 $1200 for the standard Note 20 around $1400 $1500 the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be cooled given the success of this is light models it's also likely that we'll get something Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line is a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company recorded huge selection in the range of the premium asked on the note line on top of the galaxy folder in the galaxy that flip phone no have to say it is that flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me this is because i see it as a little bit unnecessary it's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being over complicated for very little reason of course that's just my opinion though and i'm sure it will be a successful phone being price much lower than the fold of coat alters all the information estimate suite have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but just wanted to give you my estimations along with the stunning renders that concept artists have already put together as always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts in the comments to others waiting for something Galaxy Note 20 you happy we might get a Note 20 Ultra please subscribe like the video or comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out